from the start of the project. We have progressed to so much experience, so much maturity. The coming months will be all about completions and to be ready for what is the next challenge, which is operation of the plant, which is why we are here for. The biggest event that is about to happen is we're going to hydro test the tank. 170,000 cubic meters of water will be pumped into the tank to make sure it maintains integrity. This is a massive event. This is the biggest tank in Canada. Nobody has done this work yet. I think people, as they work on the tank, they forget how big and grand it is. Like, wow, this is what I've been a part of for the last three years. In the utilities area, we have uh, now installed the majority of the pipe racks. We're waiting for the final modules to arrive, and we're looking forward to substantial completion of the majority of systems. In ISBL, all the major modules are now in, and so now what we're doing is hooking up modules, piping, electrical, instrumentation cables, and then it's going to be initiating that completions process. For the non-process buildings, we're really reaching kind of the final stages of completions. During this quarter, everything will be completed and have the assets start using it. In terms of flare area, the vapor flare is our tallest item at site. It's about 122 meters. We've completed the steel structure and we're just waiting to complete kind of the piping and the flare tip structure later this summer. We're finished the foundation of the trestle and we're now starting to install the modules and the mechanical hookups. Now my big priority is some gas creek in town. As you can see, we've done a tree clearing as well as some brush cutting. I am just so excited to see once we've crossed the finish line, once we've done all the improvements, the public be able to enjoy this space and make use of it. Besides that, we, we're doing a, a little side project called the Tugberth. That scope hasn't even started and, and we're doing that in the next six months, so that is super exciting. We have to recruit a whole bunch of people to come to a new project, which is super exciting. We have some great opportunities. We're going to be supporting the emergency response for the site. And so we're sending our technicians to fire school in Texas, but also we have some cool opportunities to send a bunch of our technicians to Malaysia to actually spend some time in a plant and kind of learn what it is to actually operate a facility. When we transition into a running asset, Projects folks will stay on with us for a period of time and working together closely, all that knowledge will be transferred onto our asset people will be here for the 40 years of plant. This project is a dream project. The one team drive has really been helpful. It created this synergy and seamlessness among us all. LNG Canada has taken the opportunity to do something new and different, which I think is the exciting thing, that opportunity to create a different experience, learn from the past, but not live in it. The team is really focused on delivering the project safely and then growing that opportunity, and it's kind of like everybody's come together. You're building something bigger than yourself, which is a great environment to come to work in every day. As every construction job, the last 10% are often the hardest. And this organization is slowly getting into a Swiss watch mode where all the little pieces work seamlessly together. I can't wait to see it up and running and to prove to the rest of the world that Canada can do it. And I think building the local talent as well really enforces Canada's stage on the world marketplace.